Good evening. Crews in Jackson County had a big mess to clean up today after the courthouse was damaged during last week's snowstorm. City leaders think heavy snow on the roof caused it to crack, causing damage to the walls in the old courtroom and the carpet. Sam Smith talked to the judge executive about the county's cleanup plans. He has our top story at 5:30. We had a major mess, to say the least. Dryers are running inside this Jackson County courtroom. Up on the roof, volunteers are clearing frozen drain pipes, all because of the 12 inches of snow that filled the flat roof of the courthouse. Judge Executive Shane Gabbert says it was an odd sight on Saturday. That water was coming down just like you would spray something with a water hose, and it was just running out the top of that window frame. The courthouse was not the only building to have water issues. The new judicial center also had a water leak. Yeah, we found out this morning, discovered a leak on the third floor, the very top, and uh, it's minimal, but it, 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 if it ain't repaired, it's going to be bad. It's the same game plan for the courthouse that's been around since the 50s. There's no danger, I believe, of the roof collapsing, but the leaks are going to get worse if we don't do something with it. Gabbard says water was leaking into the offices on the first floor, but those leaks were minimal. Especially when compared to what happened in this room. Uh, that water was back to here. Gabbert says this leak could have been worse. The room is closed for now, but every other office at the courthouse is running as usual. It's a solid building with concrete floors and walls. If it had been wood, we'd have sure been shut down today. In Jackson County, Sam Smith, WKYT. Right now, officials are waiting to hear from the insurance company before they make any permanent repairs to the roof. Several garages and carports in the county were also damaged during the storm.